can you serve the city, you know? And one thing I noticed at one time, there used to be a clinic available, mm -hmm. and I think it may have been done through the Sisters of the Carmelet, uh, but mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure. Is that still oh, in residence where if people needed mm -hmm. health care, they mm -hmm. could go, uh, no questions asked, for free, mm -hmm. and you had right. volunteers there, and, and even dental work, there'd be referrals, because mm -hmm. I remember uh -huh. uh, some people contacting my Senate office where they were just really trying to seek help, and uh, they sure. were able to go to your church. Yeah, we we worked with Sisters of Mary, and um, and we had a health care clinic, and we had doctors and nurses that would yep. be there. Um, they've, they've changed the way that they function and structure things, so yep. currently they're not doing it at Redeeming Love. Yep. But um, on dental care, we, we, we um, try to meet people's needs with yep. giving food and, and clothing, and, you know, we just tried to serve our community, but other, you know, in any way we can. Um, we've also been really involved in um, in, in uh, rehabilitating, rehabilitating uh, lives that have been in, in uh, involved in drugs and yes. alcohol. We, w our church was one of the first churches that started Minnesota Adult and Teen Challenge, mm -hmm. and uh, um, and so we do a lot of. Uh, um, I've I've been a part of that. Um, the board of administrators for that ever wow. for 30 years as a matter of okay. fact and so we just try to serve our community any way we can okay and in addition to all the, the work at the church and that uh, you're a husband uh, a mm -hmm. father would you like to mm -hmm. share a little bit about the family and my i wife, know that uh, yeah. my sister uh, knows your spouse pretty well right my, my wife sandy and your sister are, okay. are good friends yes. as a matter of fact but uh um, it's wonderful when we're all living in the same community, isn't it? Yes. So we, we just get those relationships. But Sandy and I have been married for um, 45 years. And um, she looks a lot younger than me. I didn't think you me. could get married before 16. That's true. Yeah, you know, that, you know, but that we, somehow we worked it out. Thank you. <laughs> but um, but we, we have uh, um, seven grand... Uh, I should back up. I've got three children, yes. and they're all married. And uh, of course, I ran one. Of, I go right to the grandchildren. We have seven grandchildren, okay. and one on the way any any day now. Okay. So, and it's going to be a boy. So I'll be six grandsons and two granddaughters. Wonderful. Well, I, I want to congratulate you on your your vision, your accomplishment, the many uh, good deeds that you've done in the area. If people want to learn more about uh, the church or other churches, you know, visit the website or more yep. importantly, you know, uh, attend. Or, you know, sample sure. it. I know you work with a number of congregations throughout the area. We do. And uh, you, we mentioned the Senate chaplain. You have chaplains of the day and you mm -hmm. talk to people of all denominations. That's right. And, we, uh, you know, mm -hmm. We're all part of one big family and so mm -hmm. that, that I know that's what motivates you that people get along and well, you know, we we believe that you know in all the denominations that that we're all there should be just one church. We're all represented in different ways, you know, yes. and uh, and so we have a um, it's almost like a lifelong mission just to just to reach out and, and just to build connections with with uh, all all different churches and denominations and just even recently have just got to know and. Developed a friendship with Archbishop Hebna, yes. and uh, and and uh, I just appreciate um, just the opportunity that we can to be united. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Pastor Mike Smith, and we have time just for a couple of concluding words. If you'd like to share them with our viewers, and sure. I know you're never at a loss for words or jokes, <laughs> etc. But uh, some concluding remarks. Well, you know, one thing I just want to say to everybody who might who would be watching this right now, and that is. This one word is hope. You know, I just believe that one of the struggles that many people have, um, no matter uh, where they're at, they people are losing hope. And, and I just believe that there's so much hope. And I found that hope in uh, in God. He loves He loves you deeply. He cares about you. And there is hope for us and uh, hope for you. And God wants you to know that. And he expressed his great um, desire for you in, in just demonstrating and giving his son Jesus Christ and um, and it's just an expression of his the greatest gift of heaven for you to know that there's hope in him so God bless you yeah God bless you chaplain pastor Mike Smith
Thank, Thank you, you for your senators. Time. God bless you. Thank you, viewers.